Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 28th HTML tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we began working on HTML Project 2, which is learning how to create a multi-page website in HTML. Um, so, if you haven't seen that video, I suggest you go check it out. I show you what, we're, what the website's going to look like, what we're going to do, um, and then we also go about creating um, the website from scratch here. So we left off in the last tutorial with creating our menu. Um, so I put in a comment here saying menu goes here. So underneath this, we're going to put in a menu for our web page uh, where you're going to be able to find links to the about, news, and contact pages. Um, so that's going to be right here. Uh, so if we refresh this, save that and refresh, uh, this is what it looks like. So we need to add that to our web page. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're just going to type in uh, home for index, about, news, and contact. So if we save this, come over here and refresh like you just saw, we have our uh, links here, uh, though none of them are links, they're just plain text right now. And what we want to do now is center them over and then we'll turn them into links. So let's just throw some center tags around that. And we'll throw another center tag in there. Uh, I'm going to close that off. And we'll refresh. And you'll notice that here we, we have our menu. Um, so this is what we're going to be using to link our web pages. So one more thing that I want to add is we don't want to link the page that we're already on. Uh, and as we're already on index.html, um, we don't want to link the home page. So instead, we're just going to make it bold. Uh, or you can do whatever you want, change the color or something like that, just to let users know that this is the page that you're currently on um, and not make it a link so that they don't redundantly take themselves to the same page. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually set up our links here. So we're going to say a href equals. Uh, and we're just going to put about in between the uh, two anchor tags because this is what's going to be linked. Uh, we'll do the same thing for news. Oop, don't know where the N went there. And we'll do the same thing here. And same for contact. Okay, so if we save this, come over here and refresh, you'll notice that now we have our home button, uh, which is not linked. Uh, so clicking on it does nothing. We have our about, news, and contact, and all of these are, are linked, but they're not actually linked to the other pages. They're just uh, empty links, essentially. So what we want to do here is just copy and paste this um, into the other files uh, just to save us some time here. So we'll copy this, and we'll paste that there, paste that, and we'll paste that. So we'll go ahead and save all of these, and then we'll come over here, um, and we're going to get back to work here. So what we want to do on our home page so we actually want to finish creating these links here, and we want to make this bold. So in order to do that, we'll just come over here. We'll throw uh, some B tags around here, and that should make that bold. And yep, so now users know uh, when they go to the Technical Cafe website, uh, the index.html page specifically, that they're on the home page. Um, and there is a way to do this using CSS, um, but and it, it makes it dynamic, so you don't have to go and actually change these links on every single page, um, like we're going to do here in this tutorial. But uh, seeing as this is just a pure HTML tutorial, we're just going to leave it as this here. Uh, it's a bit more tedious, but uh, at least it gives you practice with creating links and whatnot. So what we want to do here for our, our About page um, is we're going to actually come over here and we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to make the About bold, and we're going to want to link the home. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our ahref, and we're going to add our closing anchor tag there, and we're going to do the same exact thing for the uh, other websites, we're going to add, or other web pages rather. I'm going to link that. We're going to take the news and we're not going to have that link, so we'll just write that over. And one more time for contact. So we'll say to link that. And we're going to delete the links from here. So, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to go back and make everything bold here. So the contact page is going to be bold. Uh, for the contact section, uh, news will bold that. Uh, and you can see this is probably why people uh, choose to use CSS and whatnot, as it gets kind of tedious uh, in creating and editing your files here. So uh, now that we have that all figured out, let's just go back and add the links here. So for about, uh, the basic link structure that we're going to be using uh, is just a, typing in about.html. And the reason for this is because all of our files are in the same folder. Um, on a, in my case, the folder is called site, and this folder is sitting on my desktop. Um, your folder might be named differently. Um, so the re because all of these files are in the same folder, um, you don't need to specify the folder um, or the location. just need to type in the name of the file. Um, however, if they were in a different folder, let's say I had a folder called uh, second folder, uh, in here and about was in there, uh, we would need to type something like this, slash second folder, 
slash about.html um, just because you need to specify the exact location of the file. But since we don't have a folder called second folder, uh, all we need to do is type in about.html. Uh, additionally, we can type in dot slash about.html, um, but that we don't really have to. Uh, just about.html works just fine. So we'll type in over here, uh, ahref equals about.html. Uh, for news, we'll do news.html, and we'll do the same thing for contact. So if we save this, come over here and refresh, uh, you'll see that all of our links actually now take us. Oop, what's going on with news there? news.html okay so the news links broken so let's come over here and take a look at what we did there uh, maybe if we refresh uh, okay I know why it's not working because we didn't actually link the uh, about page I was just going through uh, the links here so None of these links actually work because we're still on the about page. So we need to go over to the about page here uh, and we need to li finish linking these. So we'll type in index.html, uh, the about's highlighted, so we'll say news.html, uh, and we'll say contact.html. So we'll save this and we got to do the same exact thing uh, for all of these. So we'll type in index. I forgot for a second there that I was not on the uh, index page where they all, all the links did work. So contact.html, so we'll save this. And one more time, uh, index about and news. So we'll save this, come back to our index, come back here, refresh, and now it'll take us to our uh, the appropriate page that we want to go to. So now that we've figured that out and troubleshooted that problem, uh, what we want to do because you want to start adding our content to our web page. Uh, all the links work, so now we just need to go about and start adding things that we want to add. Uh, so we'll start with the home page here, and what we want to do uh, is we're going to add some text to it. We're just going to add a basic line of text, a line or two, uh, saying what the website's about, uh, stuff like that, and we'll just go about doing the same on this. But seeing as we're uh, 7 minutes and 32 seconds in, I will save this for the next tutorial, um, so feel free to follow on over to that tutorial, and thank you for watching.